Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you about my latest project called Cartapult. This thing right here and why I decided to make this. First of all, before we go through specific details of what is this and how can we play this, um, I would like to share a bit of a story of why I uh, came up to this. So I've always been specially attached with trading card game and not necessarily because I want to be good at playing them, but simply because it has a really nice drawing of monsters on it. My first trading card um, ever was Pokemon. It was pretty big when I was still in elementary school. Um, yeah, I can still remember um, saving up pocket monies to buy one or two booster packs um, and opening them at home. Back then, I didn't even know uh, exactly how to play them. I just collected it because it looks cool and yeah, I just love the monsters in it. Then, you know, moving forward, I've been collecting uh, many different uh, trading card games and also collectible toys. Mostly they're from Japan. I think I've, I've been collecting uh, Tamiya at that time as well, Beyblades. Um, yeah, and I also watch most of the anime or read the mangas uh, from those franchises. And yeah, based on those two uh, memories, I, I realized that um, those uh, those games or those toys, especially trading card games, uh, the actual gameplay of the toy or the trading card game itself is much more complicated and less flashy in real life compared to the, to the depiction uh, in their respective anime or mangas, you know? Um, and I've been always wondering if we can somehow bridge between those two things. So. As an attempt to answer those questions, uh, I made this. Um, this thing, I call this a cartapult. And basically, it's a card that turns into a catapult. As the name implies. Um, it's a 3D printed card, so I designed all of this in Tinkercad. Uh, they are all 2mm thick and it has some ornament in it so the idea is like um, you can customize it as well this guy right here has some armor and one of his hand is the catapult basically and this is the bullet so while still maintaining the function as a catapult I need to also somehow integrate it to the design of the whole design of the monster right so instead of just like putting catapult here I made a monster that Curls the rock using his hand. What we need to do is just like shoot at each other and deplete your opponent's monster HP. We do that by attack attacking the opponent monsters. So, you know, after you open up your catapult monster, load the bullet, aim, pull, and shoot. As you guys can see right here, I also designed the bullet in different shapes and essentially it's also a dice and so let's say you try to hit your opponent in front of you if you manage to hit your opponent and at the same time your dice land with the critical mark for now it's a star critical mark facing up it means instead of dealing one damage to the open monsters you deal a, a critical damage instead and as you guys can see here, there is a bar and this uh, signifies the amount of critical damage the, your monsters can deal. It means that instead of one damage, hurley right here deal three damage to a protagon here right here. So out of six, uh, sorry, out of five health points, it's now depleted into two. Just like a Pokemon card that has a different energy cards, fire, water, and so on. I was thinking to create a different bullet shape for each type of monster. So for the pearly right here, I made a D6 dice uh, with two critical mark. And then for uh, Throgon right here, 
I made a D8 dice which has two out of eight critical mark. And yeah, not only we have the, the catapult um, the, car, the catapult monster right here. We also have this card that I call the blocker. Basically what it does, as the name implies, you use this uh, monsters to protect the other uh, allied monsters from incoming projectile. We want to protect the uh, Throgon right there by summoning this guy in front of it and the idea is by protecting it you know it helps tanks it helps uh, soak the damage i also have blocker for pearly it's this one right here called stavos um, instead of a huge wing it has a huge shield the idea here is like you put it in front and you know hopefully it will deflect any incoming projectiles so that's basically how i imagine the catapult can be played um, of course there is more uh, stuff coming uh, i still need to figure out also on the basic rule i think i need to come up with one more classes that that sole job is to provide the bullet so it's a direct comparison of how you will get your energy card in Pokemon uh, TCG or your land cards in M uh, Magic the, the Gathering. I actually already made my first prototype so this is I think how it will look like. There is a hole in the middle basically will sustain a bullet in it and the idea is I, I make it slightly a bit loose so that when it got hit by your opponent let's say like the bullet can fall down and what it means maybe that um, when you drop the bullet uh, it means that you cannot uh, use it in, uh, in the next turn or it cancel out the opportunity to um, reload your catapult monsters I still have to iron out the details but that's that's sort that's somehow the gist of it basically this will be the provider card also has only a few HP the idea is like because this is such a uh, it, because it has an essential role uh, in your team then uh, it needs to be somehow protected and also this is my way to make it a bit more balanced and yeah, after I have these three classes, as I mentioned before, I will uh, write a simple basic rule so that I can uh, tie all these um, elements together. On top of that, the other challenge that I've been facing has something to do with the physical like the physical aspect of the card itself. Because a normal card is just thin and it doesn't have a, you know, like a mechanic like this you can basically just stack everything into a deck and shuffle them all but for this i think it's gonna be hard to do because you know it's all like collapsing even if you manage to flatten them out it will all like get tangled when you shuffle them and then since this is a tcg i think there still needs to be a way to somehow randomize your deck so that you will never get the same card every time you play or you cannot like build your deck in a way that you are sure which card will you get at first. I'm thinking of some some ways. Uh, one of it is maybe using this like a simple bag where you put everything inside and you just need to like reach and pick one card without looking. But then again, I think if we do that, after a certain time, you start to realize and you can also still like um, uh, grass and like try to feel around each card and I think you can easily know which one is the catapult card and which one is not so say that oh for this turn I actually need some, uh, some cards that can attack my opponent and then you can just like look for something that has a hole in it and then oh yeah there must be a catap catapult card so yeah I still need to think about that the other way that I think could be working as well is like uh, 
maybe I'll create like a simple shelf that has a number in it and I just put everything, all my cards in it and use some sort of dices or um, you know like a wheel to randomize and say maybe and then I will pick whatever card that is corresponding to the number uh, that I rolled, uh, the number that I, uh, uh, the number I rolled from the dice. So if, if it's a d20 dice and it has like a 20 shell, if I roll 12, then I should like draw a card from, you know, uh, shelf number 12. But then again, with this, I think what I still need to figure out is like what happened if I roll same number or number which um, slot is already used so it's an empty slot because i already took number six two turns uh, ago so yeah um that's the stuff that i still need to figure out um if you guys have some ideas or like some question uh please leave a comment below i would like to open up this discussion and yeah just let me know what you think and also let me know what you think about this game in general uh, what do you, what kind of class would you like to see or if, what kind of mechanics do you think can be also cool to be added into this game um, yeah and that's it for now and I hope you guys like it uh, and I will update you guys soon with uh, further development of Cartapult and have a great one